Hello. Please hit like button and subscribe my channel. Also press bell icon for future video notifications. Thanks. IRS refers to the application of insecticide onto the interior walls of houses. The study, by the Wits Research Institute for Malaria WRIM, and the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine LSHTM, was published in The Lancet on 25 February 2021. Targeted versus blanket indoor residual spraying malaria still represents one of the world's largest health crises, particularly on the African continent where 94% of cases and deaths occur World Health Organization, 2020. Most countries in southern Africa have set the elimination of malaria within their borders as a policy target. In South Africa, IRS has been effectively used since 1945. As a result, malaria transmission is low, but persistent. Malaria transmission is confined to the northeastern border districts of Mpumalanga, Limpopo, and KwaZulu-Natal provinces. IRS has been a highly effective strategy for controlling malaria in many countries. However, IRS is logistically challenging when deployed at scale and its costs are rising, due in part to the challenges posed in addressing resistance of malaria vector mosquitoes to low-cost insecticides. Furthermore, it may be unwarranted and unsustainable to spray all houses in areas where malaria is rare, but not eliminated, particularly when resources are limited. At a global level, spending on malaria prevention and treatment has remained stagnant for almost a decade, despite rising unit costs and growing populations. More efficient strategies are therefore urgently required to sustain malaria elimination efforts in low transmission settings. The increase in rural populations makes it very difficult to carry out IRS at the recommended coverage of 85% of all households before the malaria transmission season is in full swing, says Maureen Kutsi, distinguished professor in the WRIM and a co-author of the study. Reactive spraying and the substantial cost saving make targeted IRS an effective strategy for the national and provincial malaria control programs to adopt, based on good scientific data. About the study The study, titled Effectiveness and Cost Effectiveness of Reactive, Targeted Indoor Re. The trial was conducted in residential areas clusters in Bushbuckridge, Impamalanga and in Falabora, Limpopo Province. Clusters were randomly assigned to either the targeted or the standard approach. In the intervention arm of the trial, the teams only sprayed houses in response to a reported malaria case, and restricted spraying to just that house, the index case house, and up to eight neighboring houses within 200 meters. The targeted intervention therefore involved a substantial reduction in spraying, directed only at neighborhoods where there had been recent evidence of malaria transmission as indicated by the occurrence of a recent malaria case. Safe and cost-effective strategies The findings proved that, within the pre-specified margin of one case per 1,000 people per year, the targeted approach was no worse than the standard approach. Furthermore, the targeted approach proved highly cost-effective. The average annual economic cost was $88,258 plus or minus R1. 2 meters 2017 exchange rate per 100,000 population for the targeted intervention, which is 52% less costly than the standard practice, which costs $184,319 plus or minus R2. 5 meters 2017 exchange rate. The targeted intervention cost less because it involved spraying far fewer structures, did not use contract sprayers, and used substantially less insecticide, transport, and equipment, says Mr. David Bath, research fellow in health economics at LSHTM and joint first author of the study with Dr. Yaw. 
targeted transmission solutions the authors acknowledge that replacing an existing intervention, which has been standard practice for many years, would be politically and socially sensitive, and would require vigilance to avoid resurgence in cases. It is therefore important that strategies which reduce costs due to better targeting of IRS are based on robust evidence, as demonstrated by this study. Mr. Aaron Mabuza, co-chair of the South African Malaria Elimination Committee SAMIC, co-author of the study and former manager of the Mpumalanga Provincial Malaria Control Program, says, I used to wonder whether there was an alternative to blanket IRS and this study on targeted IRS has address. The recommendations are realistic and implementable, and also tackle the problem of population increase, which now makes it nearly impossible for blanket IRS to be completed before high transmission starts. Targeted IRS ensures the reallocation of saved resources to other life-saving malaria con. Please support my channel to grow by pressing subscribe button and the bell icon, we will notify you technological news. Thank you.